Hello and welcome to the Durson Network. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to like if you haven't done so already. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Durson Network. This is episode one, the premiere episode of the Philadelphia 76ers GM mode on NBA 2K22. We're going to take what Daryl Morey, Elton Brand, and even, yeah, even Sam Hinkie, we're going to take what they've done and we're going to trust that process and we're going to try and bring a championship to Philadelphia. Important to note before we begin the 21 slash 22 season in this GM mode, we were unable to hop in date of recording with the current NBA roster. Therefore, I figured best case scenario, let's just pretend we acquired James Harden in the offseason, that blockbuster deal that in real life went down at the deadline that included Ben Simmons. Let's pretend that happened in the preseason. As we look at our roster in the post-Ben Simmons era, we can all agree Embiid and Harden are superstars. Maxi looks like he's well on his way. Tobias Harris has underperformed, but as a four guy, not only position, but your fourth option, I like him, to be honest. I think he can provide us what we need. The problem, I love Thibault as well. The problem is when you go down the list, we just don't have the depth that you need. With that being said, I'm going to roll with this roster. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm not going to make any trades unless we're terrible at the trade deadline. But I'm going to roll with the roster that's in place in real life right now and see if we can't make a run at a title year one. It's going to be difficult. I think most likely scenario is we come up short year one and we in the offseason, we make a concerted effort to build depth on this roster. And then year two, we make a serious run at an NBA title. Taking a look at our day one lineup, James Harden at the one, Maxi at the two. Those two are really interchangeable. Thibel at the three, Tobias Harris starting at the power forward, and then obviously your MVP, Joel Embiid. On the bench, we have DeAndre Jordan, Shake Milton, Niang, and Green. Those are our four guys we're going to ride with to start off the bench. We're going to let Doc Rivers do his thing throughout the course of the year. As injuries happen, he is going to have to make adjustments, and we're going to let him do that. We're just going to set the lineup to start the season. Scoring option number one is obviously Joel Bede. Option number two is James Harden. That is a beautiful thing that has him as your second option. And then third for now is Tyrese Maxey. Who knows if he develops and he continues to develop the way he's been playing as of late, he could eventually become the number two here in Philadelphia. Interesting trade offered here early on in the season by the Dallas Mavericks. Jalen Brunson, Philadelphia's own Jalen Brunson, and a 25 first rounder for Tyrese Maxey. Not going to happen. Just thought we'd take a look to see what type of value Maxey is having around the league. 14-6 and six now through our first 20 games of the season. Started off 0-3, went on to rip off six straight victories, followed by a couple losses, and then another seven in a row. Very streaky at this point, but I like where we stand at 14-6 and six through the first quarter of the season. Now at the halfway mark of the 21-22 NBA season, sitting at 28-13 and 13 with a 58% team chemistry. I'd like to see that a little higher. Currently three games back of first place in the Eastern Conference behind the Brooklyn Nets and Miami Heat, who are both tied for first at 32 and 11. Player stats hard lean the way with almost 29 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, 7.5 assists. Joel Embiid not too far behind him, 25.7, 13.7 rebounds, 4.1 assists, a steal a game, almost two blocks a game. Tobias Harris averaging 16.5, Maxi at 16.1. And Shake Milton in double digits with almost 11 a game. You can see our weakness is our bench. We've talked about it. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. You all talk about it. We see it night in, night out when we watch the Philadelphia 76ers play the game. And we see it here on the Durson Network. At the trade deadline, we're 35 and 19. I would love to spice things up. Maybe throw Tobias Harris into that trade finder. See what we get. We'd probably get some juicy trade offers. I'm going to take a deep breath. Let's calm down. We're 35 and 19 right now. Pretty good shape. Let's ride this roster out just like it is in real life. And let's see what they can do in the sim. Hopefully make a run at a championship this year. Just 10 games left. We're on a bit of a run right now at 50 and 22. Dealing with some injuries. Nothing drastic. Doc Rivers seems to be handling that really well. Our 50 and 22 record has us three and a half games behind the Brooklyn Nets. Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets are the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. T just 10 games left. Doesn't look like we're going to catch up to them, but I'd be okay at the two seed. Let's see what happens in these next 10 games. Finishing the year off at 56 and 26, I was hoping we would 
win out and finish with the good old 6-0, 60 win season. That didn't happen, but I'll, I'll take 56 and 26. Luka wins the MVP at 39.4 points per game, almost 40 a game, 12.2 rebounds. What is this guy, a center? Seven and a half assists, absolutely dominant. Cade Cunningham wins Rookie of the Year at 19.6 a game, six and a half rebounds and four assists. Kemba Walker, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year and also had a spectacular overall year with almost 26 points a game, 12 rebounds, five assists. Tyrese Maxey gets it done, representing for our very own Philadelphia 76ers, winning the Most Improved Player Award, as he should, at almost 17 points a game and five and a half assists. 51% completion percentage is absolutely spectacular out of a second-year guard. And there it is, Stevie Nash, the head coach of those Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Brooklyn Nets, our foe. Hopefully we see them in the Eastern Conference Finals. But he did win Coach of the Year, leading them to a 60-22 and 22 overall record. Taking a look at our All-NBA first team, Luka. James Harden gets it done. 26.2 a game, 6.5 rebounds, 7.5 assists. Giannis, LeBron. LeBron had a phenomenal year as well. 26, 8.5, 7.5. Joel Embiid gets it done as first team All-NBA. In a lot of these sims, he gets beat out by the Joker. Very happy to see he rightfully was awarded with the first team all all-NBA second team. All-NBA goes to Steph. LaMelo Ball having a great year too. Jimmy Butler, Jason Tatum, and as previously discussed, the Joker. Kyrie Irving, Trey Young, Zion Williamson, Kawhi, and Bam Adebayo are your third team All-NBA. First team All-Defense, Ben Simmons. He's out right now. Hasn't played a single game, but in the sim, he played, and he's a great defender. We got to give him that. Chris Paul, Giannis, Matisse Thybul representing the Philadelphia 76ers first team all defense. I love to see it. Rudy Gobert also on there at the center position. Second team all defense, Marcus Smart, Alex Caruso. Are we serious about that? Uh, okay. Jonathan Isaac, Kawhi Leonard, and Bam Adebayo. First team all rookie, Kate Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Josh Giddy, Jalen Suggs, and Sangoon. Second team all NBA, Trey Mann, Kuminga, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Green, and Chris Duarte. As you can see here, we are the, looks like we're going to be the third seed. I, we'll have to look at, we'll look at the pro playoff bracket in a second, but we tied the Miami Heat for the second best record, but looks like they won out. So we're going to be the third seed at 56 and 26. Western Conference was led by the Utah Jazz and Memphis Grizzlies at 52 and 30. New Orleans was right behind them at 51 and 31. Team stats to finish off the year. Harden led the way with 26 points a game and beat right behind them. Two first team all NBA players. Love to see it. Tyrese Maxey, your most improved player. Tobias Harris, a great fourth option for us in year one. Average 16.4 with 6.3 rebounds a game. More importantly, shot 50% from the field and almost 40% from the three-point line. That's what we need out of him. Shake Milton dealing with on and off injuries all year. Played well for us off the bench. Other than that, Again, I don't need to talk about it anymore. Our bench is our weakness. Hopefully, it doesn't cost us an NBA title. League leaders, Luka, who's going to top that with 39.4 a game? Beal with 31 a game. Your NBA rebound leader was Rudy Gobert with 14 rebounds per game. Assist leader goes to Chris Ball with 8.9. The center, Nikola Jocic, right behind him with 8.5. Ben Simmons also with 8.5. Rookie center, power forward, Mobley. Almost three blocks a game, 2.8. How about that? He looks to be a great interior defender. Now looking at the NBA playoff bracket, Brooklyn takes on Charlotte in round one. Cleveland takes on Atlanta. We're going to take on the Chicago Bulls. Don't like that matchup. I'm nervous. I'm very, very nervous. Not going to lie. That That is, I'd rather, well, I mean, if we we're the two seed, we would have faced Milwaukee. So actually, I'll take Chicago. I stand corrected. Miami's got a tough round one matchup. Utah is going to face Denver. Clippers facing Golden State Warriors. New Orleans versus Dallas. And Memphis, the two seed, welcoming in the seven seed Minnesota. Important that we adjust our... Uh, we, we assist Doc with the game plan. We know he struggles at times. So we're just going to assist him with the game plan a little bit here. We adjusted the minutes. We got to max these guys out. We... YOLO, all right? We're trying to win a championship this year. With that being said, we have a very tough opponent in the first round. I'm going to sim round one. 
You're going to watch it with me. I'm nervous. Let's take a deep breath here. Rosters are set. We don't have any injuries that I can think of. Nothing of note anyways. All right, time to sim. We're going to sim this whole round. And Philadelphia sweeps the Chicago Bulls. Love to see it. Miami swept Milwaukee, believe it or not. Atlanta upsets Cleveland 4-3 to three in seven games. And Brooklyn sweeps Charlotte as well. So three sweeps there on the Eastern Conference side of the bracket. Denver takes down number one seed, the Utah Jazz, in seven games. Not totally shocked by that with some of the players that Denver has on their roster. Golden State gets swept by the Clippers. Dallas beats New Orleans in seven games. And Minnesota upsets Memphis. So multiple upsets in the Western Conference makes for a very interesting round two. Miami is an extremely difficult matchup, but it's time for us to shut up Jimmy Butler and company. He's all, nothing. He's done nothing but talk about everything that went down while he was in Philadelphia. So now is Embiid's opportunity to say enough is enough. Go back home. We don't want to see you anymore. Can we beat Miami? They were also they also finished at 56 and 26. So even matchup. What's going to happen here? And we get swept by the Miami Heat in round two. Unbelievable. Unacceptable, actually. Absolutely unacceptable. Right now, I'm just thinking about what do we do here? What are we doing here? We, we, we brought in a premier talent in the National Basketball Association. Yeah, we moved on from Ben Simmons, and we felt really good about that. Had a, had a great... Great season, 56 and 26. I, I, it, I couldn't ask for much more. And then you come into the playoffs and you get swept. It's not even about losing, right? Okay, we lost, we lost to Toronto a couple years ago in seven. Uh, it just a round two exit in four games. We're gonna, we're gonna think about a new head coach. I don't know if Doc Rivers is the guy. Um, nobody's happy right now. We're not gonna make any decisions right this second. We're gonna see what happens here. But I, I'm just sick to my stomach with the result. Uh, Brooklyn beat Atlanta four to two. If Brooklyn goes on to win this and, and beat or uh, Simmons is probably going to be the dang MVP with our luck. Denver beat the Clippers four to one and Dallas swept Minnesota making for a Dallas versus Denver Western conference finals. Let's sim this. I'm at this point. I'm rooting for Miami because I then Brooklyn sweeps Miami. Um, boy, Denver beat Dallas. Four to one, an eight and a six seed getting into the conference finals there. So we're we're very much pulling for Denver here, but it just feels like a Brooklyn championship, doesn't it? Doesn't it? They they acquire our player who wouldn't play for the Philadelphia, wouldn't even take the court. And in real life, he's not even taking the court for them, but he steps on the court in the sim and goes on to be first team all defense. And at this point, he's probably going to win a championship with the Brooklyn Nets. And that just drives me up an absolute wall. Let's send this. Come on, Denver. You know, make my night. And, of course, Brooklyn wins. And they probably did. They, they swept them. Durant, at least at least Simmons didn't win MVP. Durant averages almost 30 a game, 10 rebounds, 6.5 assists. So there you have it. There you have it, folks. Kevin Durant wins the finals MVP just curious to see how Ben Simmons performed and he performed pretty well in these four games 20 points uh he had one game with 9 10 and 7 he did what they asked him to do a uh, game with five steals there so I, I guess congratulations I guess they're going to be a tough opponent for us now, now we got to try and get better and, and compete with them moving forward in this series so there you have it that's episode one of GM mode with the Philadelphia 76ers on the Durson network. Make sure to watch episode two, where we head into the off season, build this team and this organization. So in year two, we can make a run at, we have a lot of decisions to make, not only with the staff, doc rivers, we have to have some difficult conversations right now. We don't know if we're bringing him back. Harden. Do we, do we put him? He's going to come back, but do we put him on, on the trade block? I mean, he didn't do much for us. Or, or do we try and get rid of Tobias and add depth to the roster and surround our two stars or our, our two and a half stars? Max, he's right there. Do we surround them with players that can hopefully compete with the likes of the Miami Heat and the Brooklyn Nets for the Eastern Conference Championship? 
You'll have to tune in and find out. Make sure to like, and if you haven't done so already, again, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the Durson Network. Follow me on Twitter, at Durson Network, and looking forward to seeing you next time. Everybody have a great night.